Greetings, I'm Rob Chappers. And I'm the captain. Today I have an uncharacteristically low voice due to my illness. So, <laughs> you guys. Yes. And we're here with the Dane with the vein. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't think of anything else that rhymed with Dane. Have I'm you a, got a vein? Well, I'll have to check. Potentially. Yeah. Anyway, it's Peter. Somewhere. Uh, Peter, the multi-talented and, and uh, highly employed um, today. Who are you working for? Uh, for a boogie. I'm boogie. Here for boogie today. It's the long-awaited <laughs> cab clone Meza Boogie revisitation video, which oh, I know will be viral within several seconds when the world finds out the truth about the situation with the Meza Boogie cab clone. So, we shot a video where we took our normal amp set up in the room. It was Rob Silverback through the Vintage 30 loaded uh, 4x12 with our normal SM57 and ribbon mic on it. And we played some guitar tones and we recaptured the same, kind of captured the output from the amplifier through a cab clone and we went, da -da -da -da, here's what one sounds like, here's what the other sounds like. And um, the cab clone didn't come off that well. Um, and Boogie contacted us and said, you kind of um, got missed the, the point. You've missed the point. Yes. Yeah. And it's not really, you know, it's kind of, uh, would you mind if Peter came down and explained it in more detail? We, we then understood kind of what it was supposed to do and redo the video, which we said, of course, you know, we're the last thing we want to do is misrepresent a product and, you know, misuse it. So it's a bit like one of those movies <clears throat> where in, in, in standard American format kind of, you know, action adventure movies, there's always some like pretend misunderstanding that take, turns into this big story plot line <laughs> where if people just spoke about it, that plot line wouldn't exist at all. Yeah, I've never exactly. seen one of those movies. It happens no. all. It's a, it's um, a common characteristic so, of movies. Yeah, but it's just a little, you know, I would say it's just been a little bit of a misunderstanding because the the, uh, the application of the cap clone is, uh, you guys used two microphones when yes. you recorded it. You used the ribbon microphone and a 57, which gives, the ribbon microphone gives a lot of bottom end in, in, mm. in a recording. You know, one, you have a 4x12 cap in a room, two microphones, you got a load of stuff. Uh, and the cap clone is basically only one microphone. Yeah. So that's, and plus, when you use something like this, a cab clone, or any other simulator, um, uh, cabinet simulator, you have to, when you do record it, you have to game match it. Yeah. And I watched uh, briefly the video, and the levels on the video was... I think, I think the biggest uh, issue is, is I, when we do these videos, yeah. we mic it intentionally to try and capture a sound in the room. Yes. We, so go, that's, for, that's, we go for home tone, home as tone. opposed to... Pro tone because yeah, yeah. when it's a singular sound on its own, as Rabia yeah. will tell you in a minute, he would try and get that low end to yeah. give you a nice sounding low yeah. tone. Yeah. And that's 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 what people would do. You know, yeah. you have to remember most people listen to demos on YouTube through their phones or yeah. through their iPads or so you have to make the sound you know, you have to do something well, to make it sound a little bit sound. better. Yeah. Certainly, if we were uh, recording to either play, sorry, if we were miking up to either play live or uh, for a recording, we wouldn't uh, attempt to sort of capture all of that very low bass end. You because you wouldn't want it. You, you wouldn't, wouldn't want, want it, no. no. Uh, As you know, you're recording an album at the moment, and if you do, if you do, when you do record guitar, you have to remember there's a bass. Which is low, and, and you don't a want kick to invade his territory. And you don't want to do that, so that's no. why you you do want to cut the low end out a little bit. Yeah, because if I start sort of invading <laughs> Dave's territory, no, he, he will he would invade <laughs> back. Dave. So we're we're going to do three things in this video. Number yeah. one is just so you can kind of hear for everybody that uh, obviously didn't see the, the the old video before we pulled it down. We're going to show you what the silverback sounds like again with the SM57 and the ribbon mic. Yeah. Then we're going to mute the ribbon mic, so you just hear the 57, which is kind of uh, naturally, you're, you know, some of that very low bass end will disappear. And then we're going to switch to the, the cab clone, and the cab clone again set to the vintage cabinet mode, because that's what's emulating vintage 30 speakers, and yeah. that's basically what's in there. Yeah. Uh, we've also, Peter's made sure that the um, levels and everything into the interface are all correctly matched. Um, so we're going to just do that really now, yeah. I think. <laughs>
can we hear? Should we hear a bit clean? A bit of a bit of what? I don't know. That, <laughs> that alien tone, <laughs> the alien tone that comes when you use the funny channel that you never understand what they're for. I've got it, bro. <laughs> Brosif. Bro, bro Montana. Let me just check my tuning with this poly tune from TC do Electronic. It. Do it. Whilst Rob's tuning. Perhaps what we could do is just show you some of the other features on the back of the, the cab clones. So first thing we should say is it's very important that you buy the correct impedance cab clone uh, for the speaker cabinet that you use. So you can buy this as a four, an eight, or a 16 ohm cab clone. Mm. So if you're not sure what that, you know which one you need, go look at the uh, cabinet that you're normally plugging into, see what impedance that is, and then match. Some the has, right some has both, haven't they? This, I think this has got 16 and eight in the back. And it four, has, but that... obviously it's the cabinet that, well, I suppose, yeah, yeah of course, so, if you're never gonna use it with the cabinet, just uh, then it only matters that you match it up to the right output uh, yeah. on your amplifier. It has, uh, the, the in and the through, uh, so amp goes in here through to the speaker cabinet. You don't have to plug a speaker cabinet in. If you want to just use this as a dummy load, you can do. Yep. Desk plugs into the three pin balance DI. Uh, there is a line out on here, which I think I said before, I was never quite sure. I guess you, you potentially you could plug it into another speaker emulator yeah. or something, because you're yeah, not or, sure what that was if, for. If you don't have that, I can imagine you can use that as a line out in, if you don't have a, a balanced uh, Oh, I see, XLR. so that's still emulated, is it, the line out, you think? Yeah, we'll, anyway, uh, or there's a headphone uh, output as well if you'd rather use that instead. On yep. the front, you've got a level control so that you can make sure that your desk or your interface is receiving the right level. And we're just set on straight up on straight this Straight up 12 o'clock. You've got a, a phase inversion thing, so obviously I'm guessing if you're using a cabinet and front of house and you realize that your cabinet and the front mm -hmm. of house are out of phase, you can very quickly yep. switch it. Uh, ground lift. And then three voicings. So we've yeah. used, we've used the vintage voicing. What are the other two voicings? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a, a one by twelve open cap and right. a an, an open back cap as well. Or is it two by twelve? One by twelve. Well, I'll put the we'll a put link them to the specification. Underneath. That's interesting. So the only one that's an actual four twelve is the, is the vintage yeah. cabinet, is it? Okay, that's probably another reason why the last video didn't go you know quite so well because we were comparing. Like one twelve. It's almost like there was a lot of misinformation. It was. I, I, you know, I must admit, it's worth watching this video and it's worth experimenting with your cab clone if you've yeah. got one because the manual that comes with it is is very very short um, and just kind of basically tells you how to plug it in. Yeah. But um, and it's a little, it's it's a passive thing, you know. It's not. It's it's yeah. just a little box that. I think. I think. Yeah. We, we probably. A should have uh, fiddled around a bit more with this last time, and, and B we should have just phoned Peter, should we? Just called me. We just called the Viking and said, you know, help me. Let's help, help me, Obi Wan. <laughs> um, <laughs> So Peter has a surprise for us. <laughs> mm. He's bought in a tiny little speaker from Bose. Yep. You've recorded something in advance, haven't you? I have, yeah. I've to used prove the... a point. <clears throat> I've basically recorded at home with a uh, Retroverb 525. Re Retroverb. Re Retroverb. Oh, this is the Danish show. Uh, it is. So clearly one of them is going to be the cab clone and one of them won't be. So we've got to guess. You have to guess. Okay. Uh, which is which? So right. I've got first. I'm going to play the clean sound here. Okay. So now, apologies if this isn't this loud for you because you're hope we'll we'll turn this up as loud as it'll go and yep. you're just hearing and it you on can our hear it. So first, microphone. first is these are two different clean. One recorded with a microphone in the front of it, and one is the cap clone. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> First one's the amp, the second one's the cab clone, just because I think the first one had a tad more bass end on it. The second had more bass in it. Really? And I think that's I think Peter's put it there to, to take us <laughs> off, so I'm gonna say the first one uh So you is... think the first one's the cab clone? <clears throat> no no I I think the first one is the mic. 
Oh really? Well, I, I I think the first one is the mic as well. Um, they both sounded great. Though. Yeah, they, to yeah. be honest with you, both of them sounded really good. Yeah. Yes. And I myself not not edited that much to be honest with you. I've just matched the gain, the level. But there was editing. But yet yeah, that's well, I've okay. done the gain, the gain levels, the levels on it. So yeah. it's the same yeah. level. Yeah. You're right. The first one is the microphone. <laughs> we'll, do of, we'll do a bit of crunch for you. A bit okay, of crunch. Okay. Okay. A bit of crunch. <laughs> I could hear a, a more of a roomy, you know, had a little bit more verb on it, which is probably just the fact that it's a room rather than a cab plane. So I, I think, I think I'm going with. I think the first one is the cab plane and the second one is the microphone. Well, I think the opposite. <laughs> Go on then. You're right. Yeah. Ah, fine. Fair enough. And I haven't. I, I'll just say I haven't changed the the knobs or the reverb. On it at all. I've just matched the gain. <clears throat> oh, but it's fair to say, they all sound great. Yeah, I've oh. got more, but I, you know we don't need to do any more. I think, I think what, we're, what we're basically and... saying is that given that most people's uh, listening now is either going to be through like a little pair of iPhone headphones or a little travel Bluetooth thing. Yeah. I think what we're kind of saying is is that actually by the time you're hearing a guitar like that. Um, whether or not you've used a ten thousand pound microphone or a cab clone, it starts yeah. to become. It's going to be an MP3. It's going to be an MP3. You know? It's going to yeah. be this and that. Yeah. But yeah. at yeah. least you get a clean <coughs> signal. You got you got no yeah. spill from microphones if you are recording live. You know all of this stuff is great with it, with with any you know. With the cab My clone. mental image of the cab clone is different mm. now. I now view it as an SM57 in a box. Yeah. yeah which it's... of course on stage in a live application is much safer. The nurse M57 in front of the cab that you can yeah. kick and fall on and yeah, drop and you beer get drums on. in it and you know all of this yeah, stuff and the... we, we know what sound front of house guys and monitor guys can be like they like their their power and they they like to have their you know what I mean keep everything as clean as possible so they can mix and do everything yeah out front so it's interesting yeah. it's, how it's... you say that though just one of the things we haven't shot yet is, yeah is our reaction to what it actually sounds like <laughs> right we're gonna go take a listen see you guys in a minute. <laughs> So we're back and we've listened and I we've come to <laughs> <laughs> and we've come to a decision that it sounds fine. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, it different. Sounds... It is different because you've got a, a microphone placed on a speaker which will as you that sounds different, you know. Mm. But for an easy application, Capitalon's great. Yeah. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, I mean, for my personally, I think it sounds great as an input recording for something to go away and start, you know, mixing into a, a you know, a song or whatever. It's, it's, you know, you can't complain. I think um, my initial sort of viewpoint on it was that it was emulating the cab as opposed to just a singular microphone. So I used a couple of mics as we always do for, yeah, um, nice. for videos, and I think I was personally under the wrong impression of what it did. But having heard it against a fifty-seven on the cab, it's. Yeah. Yes. Do you know what? That's, a, that's a great shout because yeah. I think we probably thought it was like one of those, you know, two notes torpedo things, which actually is a cabinet emulator. Yeah, Th yeah. this is, a, 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 you know, and I guess perhaps the, the, the name would imply that that's kind of what it is. But um, so never judge a book by its cover. I think it is. It is what it is, isn't it? It is kind of that. That is it's, it is what it is. But I think it's just the way that it gets used when when you use it as a recording or A B tested mm. or whatever, you know, it's just the one mic really. Yeah. Yes. But I really like yeah, to be it's... honest with you, I think it's a great starting point for an engineer to say, fantastic, I've got a, yeah. I've got a decent captured, you know, S M fifty seven kind of tone. I can tweak it a little bit to get it how I want it to be, whether that's front of house or, be no or whatever. No bleed, no bleed, no microphones to kick over. Exactly. Yeah, I mean um, in a studio you can have like ten different amplifiers and just pluck them in the back. Mm. Use it do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I, the, the way I see this product, actually, I would use it live over in the studio personally because live sometimes uh, mics get knocked or the, the sound tech might not be the most savvy guy. So it's ensuring the best quality sound you can get live. But in the studio, obviously, you've got all the time in the world to you yeah. know fine tweak placement. So yeah, I'd use it live yeah. over yeah. in the studio. I mean, of course, one of the things that we didn't even do in this video 
was, uh, and which you absolutely would do, I'm sure, if you were using the Cloud Clone all the time, is find a setting maybe on your amplifier that's even more optimal. Exactly. We really sincerely hope you've enjoyed this video and the spirit of Christmas flows through your veins <laughs> from all of us here. Can you feel wondrous... the flu in this room? Yeah. yeah. Well, 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 is we all got a little bit. The flu tonight. <laughs> uh, it's been fun. It's been special. <laughs> yeah, good seeing you yeah. again. Peter, yes. as always, has been incredible. He and, is. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed oh, yeah, the video. Cool. I'm anyway, Chapman. I'm the captain. Bye. He's Bye. I'm Pete. He's the dame nice. with the vein. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>